long time ago, this past Sunday, <laughs> I was playing soccer as I normally do on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, enjoying myself, came home, very sweaty and tired. I went and saw my saw my wife outside. She was cleaning up the pool as she normally does on Sundays. And I thought, let me go make some food. I got home. I'm sure she was probably hungry. One thing that I didn't do that, in retrospect, I should have done was go out and say at least hello and I'm here, I'm present. <laughs> she didn't know that I was home, but I went ahead and got ready, went to the bathroom and maybe took a little bit of time playing some games. On the, I don't know, maybe five, 10, 15, 20, half an hour past, I don't know. I don't know, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Got ready, took a shower, started to bring a nice vegan breakfast for everyone. So it was going to be delicious and not prosaic at all. As the meal was getting finished, I went outside and was about to tell my wife, hey, when are you gonna finish so we could come in and eat? She saw me No me hablo, yo estoy cansada. ¿Por qué no saliste acá a venir a hablarme? Y nadie me ayuda aquí. Which the basic translation is I'm disappointed that you came out at this time. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> she was upset because I hadn't gone out there. Nobody was offering her anything to drink. I had my two youngest daughters outside and they were supposed to be help helping with the yard. They were helping by playing sword fights with the branches. <laughs> And my oldest daughter had a mission to go. She took about two or three hours to go get it done. <laughs> that didn't make my wife very happy either. I received a lot of that feedback. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to explain things, but you know how that goes. Especially for men, you try to explain things to your wife when they're upset. And so first thing for how to stop someone from being angry at you is try to fix the problem. Okay, my wife is probably thirsty, so I come out, give her some water. She's like, don't even bother. I'm not going to drink that water. <laughs> I brought out some food and said, like, Please don't talk to me right now. <laughs> okay. I tried to fix the problem, it didn't work. That's all right. Second step is stay calm. It's very difficult. I've had almost 24 years of experience with her, but you have to stay calm. Fighting fire with fire in this case will not work. I think that only works for forest fires. You burn ahead and then stop the fire. But in this case, do not fight fire with fire. It'll just be a blazing inferno. So I don't want that. And by no means at all, do not say, calm down. <laughs> if you've ever tried that before, it 
normally doesn't work. The person does not really calm down when you say calm down. <laughs> Just saying calm down right now and that and my heart is beating faster. <laughs> doesn't work. The third thing is wait. As much as we don't like to wait, is something you have to do, whether it be your kids, your mother, father, husband, wife, if they're upset and you've wronged them, and if it's something small, maybe the wait time will be less. If it's something significant, the wait time will be more. But you have to wait. The essence of this, and to answer the question at the very beginning, the present the title of the speech, how to stop someone from being angry at you, the answer is, you don't. You don't stop someone from being angry at you because you don't control the person. They're the ones that decide when they will stop being angry at you. So the three things to keep in mind, again, fix the problem as much as possible, as long as they let you fix the problem. <laughs> Stay calm and wait. It's difficult, it's time consuming of course, <laughs> but happiness comes from inside. If they choose not to be happy or stop being angry then, what can you do? Happiness is an inside job. And by no means say, calm down, <laughs> Mr. Toastmaster.